Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dread Out. This is episode 5. Last time we fought the headmaster of the school, who was a bit gender confused, and stole one of his many pairs of scissors. And with these, we can finally get the keys off the boar, if we can catch him. Those keys will let us escape the school. Alright, so we have to go back to the other side of the school. Hey, cat. We'll probably be able to finish Act 1 in this episode because there isn't too much left once we get the keys. In fact, there's pretty much nothing between here and the boar, so I think we'll just skip ahead a little bit. Hmm, not a familiar sound. Also, all of these doors closed themselves when I reloaded. That is the sound we heard when we first arrived. The sound of a sleeping Nijepet. Yes, so you don't actually have to figure out how to get these keys off the boar because once you get the scissors, he just kind of passes out. So we'll just yoink these off, even though we clearly don't have any scissors in our hand. Also, we have a bunch of keys, but it only gives us one important key. Well, we have the key to leave, but it seems like maybe something doesn't want us to leave just yet. So we'll have to go the long way around. Also, you probably have noticed it by this point in the video, but if not, there, this game has some weird stuttering. Which is why sometimes you'll see me do like a, you know, 190 turn in a second. Because it'll stutter while you're turning and just turn you really fast. Oh, not going up there. Sounds like we got a spiteful lady ghost. And not just one with a hole on her back. Hmm. I think I would have remembered if there was a wall of insects here before. Oh dear. Oh, there's no going back now. It's just bugs, Linda. So, there is something horrible behind us, and we need to escape it. And it's getting closer. We're in an endless hallway, but there is a hidden door in the wall. Somewhere, there it is. So we got a Ghostopedia there, even though I didn't actually get a chance to look at the ghost. I was looking for her. But if we had seen it, we would have seen this terrifying giant monster climbing on the wall. We might be seeing it again, though. Alright, so we've actually made it into the main hall now, so let's go use our key and get the fuck out of here. Well, here's a familiar face from the intro. This is the lady in red from our dream. As you can see, she's a bit of a pe teleporting pain in the ass. She basically just teleports next to you and grabs you.
Sounds like good advice. And because we have those mystical items, you can see Limbo moved up real close to us. So we don't have to run for too long to get back to reality. Be cautious, be cautious, be cautious. Sounds like we're getting advice from a dark one. He does not understand. So, they said avoid her, so let's try avoiding her. As you can see, she disappeared when we pulled out our camera. How does she know our name? So the hint was actually to avoid her, but we only had to get around her now she has cursed us with bugs. But again, bugs are not going to be enough to stop us from getting out of here. Now she's cursed us with a rat, which actually inverts our controls. But, same idea, we just have to keep running. Except now we're all the way up on the other side of the school. It's easier to just let her hit you once and then run past her while she can't hit you again. Alright, that's enough playing around, lady. We want to leave. That's what was chasing us earlier. So that's where the game originally ended before Act 2 was released. I will say that uh, while Act 1 is actually pretty slow once you get to the school, Act 2 has a lot more going on. We'll be doing a lot more things in a lot more locations. So if you found this part a little slow, the next half should be a bit more interesting. And we'll certainly be fighting a lot more ghosts. Alright, so we're outside. This is the beginning of Act 2, but we're actually going to end it here. And we will continue into the unknown next time on Dreadout. Till then, I've been Shadefire, this is Linda, and I will snap souls with you again next time. Till then, you folks all take care. <laughs>